Hi, I'm Lance with Ultimate Canine, and today I'm going to talk about an interesting topic, and that is the word no. I do not use no when I train dogs, and the big reason that I don't do that is because it can stop learning. A dog has to understand 100% exactly what it is that you're asking it to do. Otherwise, a correction is only going to impact learning, and it's going to, it's going to make your relationship suffer because the dog didn't understand what you asked and now you're correcting it because no has to have an impact. If no doesn't have an impact, the dog's just gonna continue to blow you off if you are using a correction, just like a person. If you tell them stop doing that and then they continue to do it and you tell them no, don't do that and there's no impact, they're gonna continue to do it, right? So there has to be an impact. I don't do it because typically it interrupts learning. So for instance, if I tell the dog to sit, and the dog does not sit and the dog's looking at me, I can read that the dog's trying to figure out what it is that I want, so I will recommand. Some people will say that's faulty and there's a million different ways to train a dog, but I want the dog to be successful and I wanna work as a team with the dog. I don't wanna fight them. Because when you get into correction, dogs are great at conflict. That's why they have teeth and that's why they bite people and fight other dogs because they don't, they don't do diplomacy like us they are good at conflict. And I don't wanna have that with a dog because it just makes your relationship muddy. The dog's fighting you, you're fighting the dog back. So no to me stops learning and correction can stop learning really fast. Now there's a difference between correction and, there's a, and, and pressure and that's a whole different topic for a whole different day. So I want the dog to understand what it is that I want so when I command, I need to be able to read that the dog understands what the command is. And there are different many components of commands which make that even more complicated, which is also a different conversation. If your dog is sitting at a distance, sitting in motion, sitting at your feet, those are all different components of the sit command altogether. So for me to correct a dog or to tell the dog no and be harsh with the dog, it's not really gonna help the dog learn. I have to understand if the dog understands and then I have to go from there. And then I have to use the steps through body language, luring cues, whatever I have to do, and then wean all those back to make the dog understand what just the word means. That's why I don't use no. Thanks for watching.